a two-day dialogue to discuss the Sudanese deadly power struggle, which is now in its second year. We are here in Kampala, engaging the women of Sudan who have come from different parts of the world because the war has actually dispersed the population of Sudan. The hostilities that began in April 2023 has led to the death of about 15,000 people with not less than 8 million displaced in what has been described as the worst displacement crisis in the world. That's a big cause for worry. It is painful what is happening in Sudan. Women have been crying because they have been raped, violence against women, refugee in many countries. I would like to thank the High Panel of African Women and the AU and uh, Uganda. Let us take the space seriously. Let us to think about our continent. Let us to think about Sudan. There are also fears that the worsening humanitarian crisis is gradually leading into full-scale famine. More than 25 million need humanitarian assistance. That is why this forum is calling for urgent actions that could bring about an immediate ceasefire. And they wanted to say, stop the violence and stop the war so we can have a peaceful dialogue. Despite mediation efforts and the declaration of commitments to protect the civilian of Sudan, signed in Jeddah in May 2023, the warring parties continue to violate international humanitarian and human rights laws, committing sexual and gender-based violence against women and girls. The women of Sudan want an immediate stop to that. We believe that uh, African solutions can only be the sustainable answer to African problems. They not only want a ceasefire, but also the opening of humanitarian corridors and distribution of life-saving food and other items to affected populations. They are also seeking that regional and international organizations put in place neutral mechanisms for the protection of civilians, in particular women, girls, children and other vulnerable groups. They also demand a 50% women participation at all levels, including ensuring that gender equality and women's rights are embedded in the provisions of any peace agreement in Sudan. Tokumbo Oyetunji, Arise News, Lagos.